In this video, we're overclocking the Intel UHD Graphics 730 integrated in the Core i5-12400 processor up to 1800 megahertz in five minutes or less. We do that using an Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme motherboard and a thermal right air cooler. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is not the whole picture on overclocking this kind of a system. So please don't just outright copy these settings and apply them to your PC. If you wanna learn how to overclock this kind of a system, just have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video, which is already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. This will load in part the XMP profile and in part the ASUS optimized settings and lets our DDR5 memory run at its high performance specification. Set BCLK frequency to 124.15 MHz. The base clock frequency is the reference clock for many parts inside your CPU, including the P-Cores, integrated graphics, ring, system agent, memory controller and system memory. In most overclocking scenarios, you never have to increase the base clock frequency as there are plenty of multiplier ratios available to push your cores or memory to the max. However, the Intel Core i5-12400 processor is a locked processor, so we don't have access to multipliers higher than the maximum default ratios. So, the only way to get the most out of our integrated graphics is by overclocking the BCLK. Increasing the base clock frequency impacts many parts inside the CPU, so we'll need to adjust other settings accordingly to ensure stability. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enable to remove all limits. This will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and allows for unlimited time at maximum performance. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5-6210. This ensures that the DDR5 memory runs at a stable near XMP frequency, despite increasing the reference base clock frequency from 100 MHz to 124.15 MHz. Set performance core ratio to sync all cores. Increasing the BCLK frequency to 124.15 MHz will increase the CPU frequency as well, unless we reduce the CPU ratio. For this guide, we will use a fixed CPU ratio as we're focused on overclocking and measuring the performance of the integrated graphics. Set all core ratio limit to 36. Enter the tweaker's paradise submenu. Set unlock BCLK OC to enabled. Leave the tweaker's paradise submenu. Set max CPU cache ratio to 36. Set max CPU graphics ratio to 29. The motherboard auto rules decrease the graphics ratio as the BCLK increases, so manually setting this value ensures the graphics frequency is running at the highest available ratio. Set CPU core cache voltage to manual mode. We have a locked CPU, so we don't have access to essential tools like BCLK aware adaptive voltage. When we increase the BCLK frequency, we must manually configure the voltage for the different parts inside the CPU accordingly. Since we use a fixed CPU ratio, we also use a fixed manual voltage. Set CPU core voltage override to 1.2. Set CPU graphics voltage to offset mode. This allows us to increase the graphics voltage to support the overclocked frequency. There are two options to adjust the graphics voltage, override mode and adaptive mode. In override mode, here called manual, we set one voltage applied to all scenarios. In adaptive mode, the voltage scales according to the frequency. Offset mode allows us to offset the entire factory fused voltage frequency curve for the graphics by a certain amount. This means the voltage will be reduced when there's no workload and increased when there's a high workload. Set CPU graphics voltage offset to 0.35. This increases the voltage under load from 0.93 volt for 1450 MHz to 1 1.24 volt for 1800 MHz. Then save and exit the BIOS. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With the integrated graphics now running 24% higher slice and unsliced clock frequency at 1800 and 1550 MHz respectively, we see the highest performance in all benchmarks. The performance increase ranges from 21% in handbrake 
to 30% in AI benchmark. When running Fermark GPU stress test, the average GPU slice clock is 1800 MHz, and the GPU unsliced clock is 1552 MHz with 1.24 volts. The average memory clock is 3103 MHz. The average GPU temperature is 56 degrees Celsius, and the average GPU power is 15.30 watts. And that's it. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and see you next time.